Four contestants, one winner, one round. I am your host, Jay Gardner, and you're watching Dream Crushing Games. For today's contestants, we have Natalia. I've been training for this my whole life. Like, I deserve to win. Julia. This contest would change my career by 100%. I, I think I could win. Ricky. I'm the most experienced baker I know. I will win this. And last but not least, Bob. I know I'm just a construction worker, but building a cake is just like putting bricks together. How hard can this be? Contestants, meet your judges, Benny Von Buzzybox. Mother Russia, cake judge you. And Stephanie. I can't wait to eat all this sugar. Today's theme is anything with legs. You guys have only two hours to finish your cakes. Your time starts now. Okay, so today I am making a cute little silo with legs and a big blue nose. I'm gonna be making a pretty unicorn cake with a chocolate ganache and sparkly strawberry jam. Today, I'm going to be making a wallaby brew cake with a caramel glaze. And yeah, it's gonna be a big waffle. I think I'm just gonna make a wall because that's what I'm good at. Maybe out of red pudding to try to get that gray cement. I'm going to start off by mixing my red pudding. But first, of course, I'll need a rat. Now, where can I find a rat? You just missed my totally bad mixing skills. Now I'm onto my sparkly strawberry jam. Okay, I finished the batter. Now we put this into the oven. I just finished making my caramel. But you know what? I have a great idea. I'll be right back. Look, I found a rat. Okay, the rat is ready for mixing. And there you have it. A beautiful bowl of rat pudding. Judges, now is the time when you go annoy the contestants. Let's go break some hearts. Oh, this is my favorite part. Hey! So how's it going over here? Well, I just finished sweetening my strawberry jam. Okay, what'd you sweeten it with? Um, duh, sugar, what else? Well, if you used brown sugar, it would have been much better. Whatever. That was fun. Okay, got my cakes, just gotta place them together now. You guys have only 60 seconds left on the clock. Crocky. Oh no. That's okay. We'll just take it nice and easy. Ha <laughs> ha just kidding. You have one hour. <laughs> so not funny. I just got back with my secret ingredient. Lizard legs. Straight from Australia. <laughs> Let's get baking. Now I'm applying the buttercream so that the fondant will be secure. I do not know why the others are taking so long. I mean, they could have just used rip pudding. You guys have only 10 minutes left on the clock. I'm currently cutting my lizard legs. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> like to put a bandage on that. <laughs> you have one minute. Okay, I'm done. Is it as pretty as me? All I have left now is to pour this caramel glaze onto my roux. I'm done with the body. Now on to the blue nose, which shouldn't be too hard. 10 seconds. Ten, ah, so close. Nine, eight, eight, seven, six. six. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands off your cakes. Please present your cake when your name is called. Looking at it now, I don't think my cake is as bad as I thought. Bob, please show us your cake. So Bob, tell us about your uh, cake. Today, I've created a grease sponge cake. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Excuse me for a moment. I didn't like your cake. In Mother Russia, cake eat you. I know I should have used gerbil pudding. Well, now that we got that over with, Ricky, present us your masterpiece. Huh, very interesting concept. So, Ricky, tell us about your cake. So, today I made for you a wallaby roux cake with a caramel glaze and lizard leg crumble. Overall, cake was good. Like I said, 
Very interesting concept. Thank you, Ricky. Next up, Julia. Hey, judges, want to hear a joke? And then the little bee stomped away, tripped down the stairs, and fell on his beehive. Yeah. So, Julia, would you like to tell us about your cake? No, I would not. Okay, totally fine. Judges? Well, judges, what did you think? It certainly was a cake, but it lacked one thing for me. It lacked legs. You give me crumb. I did not like that. I knew it. They were going to take me out. I knew it. I knew it. Period. Next up, and last of them all, is Natalia. Natalia, please present us your cake. Natalia, tell us about your cake. So today, I made a pretty unicorn cake with a chocolate ganache and sparkly strawberry jam. I wouldn't exactly call it pretty, but let's just see how it tastes. The cake was ugly, but however, you did manage to put all of the flavors in perfectly. I didn't like how you put my saliva in strawberry jam. It pretty much ruined the whole thing for me. Well, that's all of them. Contestants, the judges will need some time to think about this, so we'll be back in a sec. Judges, now is the time for you to judge the cakes, starting with Bob. Bob gave you a gritty, savory, salty, hairy brick wall sponge cake. What did you think of it? I didn't like his cake. Moving on. Julia presented to you guys a pile of crumbs. What are your thoughts on it? It was greatest disappointment. I mean, it's a little better than what Bob had to offer. A little sugar, a little cake, but there was one thing missing. It was missing legs. Next up is Ricky. Ricky made a wallaby root cake with a caramel glaze and lizard leg crumble. What did you think of it? It was delicacy to behold. The cake itself was pure delish. Last is Natalia. Natalia gave us an ugly unicorn cake with saliva strawberry jam. What are your thoughts on it? I would rather have eaten dirt with worms. It was greatest insult. Although it did taste amazing. The flavors mixed together perfectly. Okay, are you guys in agreement on a winner? This is it. This is the big finale. I have high hopes for my red pudding. Who knows? Maybe the taste of my cake will save me. You are all challenged to create a cake with legs, but one of you didn't follow the instructions very well. Bob? I'm totally impressed with the amount of baking skills you have, but your wrap pudding bricks just didn't taste good to me. I didn't like your cake. Bob, we are terribly sorry, but your baking dreams just got crushed. You are done in this contest. <laughs> Another one of you made a cake that did not contain legs. And that person is... This is it. This is it for me. No, no excuses. It's just over. My career. My life. It's just over. Period. Exclamation mark. Julia. I found your cake very insulting to my stomach. Your crumb cake was a complete mess. The taste was good, but it wasn't much. We are sorry. But your baking dreams just got crushed. You are done in this contest. All right, we are about to announce the winner. The winner of Dream Crushing Cakes is not Natalia. Ricky, you are the winner of Dream Crushing Cakes. No. <laughs> Your wallaby root cake was amazing. The texture, the caramel, it was all great. Lizard legs brought back many memories. I totally knew I would win the entire time. This show is the worst. Ricky, come up here and claim your prize of 10 million bunnies. Congratulations, your dreams just got crushed. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. I'm your host, Jay Gardner, and this has been Dream Crushing Cakes.